Hello guys, Nordic Photographer here and welcome back. I hope you're all doing great this new year, new opportunities and yeah, I hope everybody is having a great start. So today we're talking about camera cages. Do they serve any purpose um, or are they just there to look cool? Let's talk about that and we're gonna transform this little Z6 to something like this. <laughs> Okay guys, so first things first is we need the base, which is the cage. So let's start attaching these two. So the most of the cages are made by a company called Small Rig. They make stuff for absolutely everybody from us professionals to beginners to heavy equipment to light equipment. And they're fantastic. And the next thing we're gonna go to the bottom of the camera where we're gonna mount our rail mount. Pretty much, rails, um, they do a lot, even though it's just two basic metal poles going through the, under the camera. But they actually do a lot. They give us space to mount anything, basically, like map boxes, follow focus, lights, and lots of other cool shit. So, that is on the place, and now, of course, the rails. Right, rails, they come in different lengths. Uh, which is the right for you? Well, when you're building a rig, try to find a measuring tape and see around the length that you like. Or just do it as me, go to a hardware store and find copper or aluminum 15 millimeter pipes. And uh, they're a lot cheaper. Trust me, so you can cut them into any size or shape you want. So, we're just gonna go and slide this through. Now, I'm just gonna put them over here for now and tighten the knobs here. Cool, next part, we're gonna get up to the camera. And we're gonna mount a magic arm. Right, we got the magic arm here. It's also by small rig. It's a small magic arm. There's, again, different lengths and sizes. This is just a small one for my monitor. There's nothing fancy about it. So we're gonna just keep it here by the side. We're gonna stay on top and we're gonna go for the handle. So top handles, um, they come in different shape, size, price, and just, you can find so much on small rig. But this is just a simple top handle with a lot of mounting points if you so want to. There, there's also like, rubberized, uh, there's with wood, there's so much different just specifically for your camera or your taste or your preference. So top handle is on the place and yeah so far really sturdy. This handle is really nice though it's really cold to film on without gloves but I got a lot of mounting points which I could use. And the next part is another rail mount that's gonna go on the back of the camera. So, we're gonna turn around here. If you don't wanna spend shitloads of money to, well, buy accessories and everything for a V-mount battery. Yes, a V-mount battery. What is that? That is basically a ginormous battery that goes on the back of your camera and powers absolutely everything. Because my Z6 has a fantastic battery, lifetime, I'm not even gonna bother with a V-mount battery. So, I'm gonna have to have something to power my follow focus as well as my monitor. So, with that, I'm just gonna use this part. I'm gonna take the Ulan C power bank adapter or mount or whatever you're gonna call it. And I'm gonna just take this. I'm just gonna use this little Allen wrench, Jesus, Allen wrench key and tighten it just like so. So it's gonna be sitting nice and tight in place. Bada boom. All right, we're gonna move on. We're gonna go down, upside down again. And we're gonna, of course, mount our base plate for our tripod. There we go, starting to look like something, doesn't it? 
Nice. Okay, next step is to mount something for our follow focus. So, this came with the map box that I own and have. So I almost went and threw it away until I realized I could actually use it as a top rail. So for a follow focus we're gonna mount this little base plate that is for the Tilta Nucleus Nano. We're gonna put the camera on the side just like this. So I'm just gonna slide this over here. Boom. Fantastic. Done. And now we're going to the right. So, wooden handle goes to the right side, or at least for me, you could switch out sides just by unscrewing two screws, and we have a universal mount. Now, what I went for the mini handle is because it's only $50 instead of, well, let's say $120 for one handle. One handle, $120 for fucking handle? Are you serious, small rig? This one is cheap and affordable, so we're gonna go for this day and night. Now we're moving on. We actually need a lens for this camera, so I'm just gonna take my favorite and best lens that Samyang has to offer. And thank god I have the Samyang T1.5 Cine lens. Yeah. Next part is actually the follow focus itself. So we have the Tilta Nucleus Nano with the hand wheel, full remote, no cables, well yeah, there are cables, but in between these two, there's no cables whatsoever. So we're just gonna place it right over here. Just rest, put the hand wheel in its bracket. And yeah, this is starting to look good, guys. Hmm. I wonder what is the next part? We need this. Well, why do we need a metal ring, you may ask? <coughs> Fuck. <laughs> it's because we need the Tilta Matbox Mini. Right. <clears throat> Matbox Mini. I haven't I don't have COVID, it's cool. We're just gonna screw on, it's a clamp on Matbox. Boom! Bam! Bada boom! Starting to look even better. <laughs> now we need something to actually monitor what we do, and that is gonna be with the Feel World F5 Pro. Boom! Nice! Starting to look even better. Of course we need to get a signal, so we're gonna just put the cables to where they should. HDMI mini in here, we're gonna go around like so and put it to HDMI in. Next up is not the V-mount, but a just the ginormous power brick or power supply or aka the beloved power bank. So this power bank just slides in like so and we tighten, boom. And now we have a cheap alternative for a V-mount battery. Nice. Okay, so next up is the top five most important thing, sound. So for this we're using the Ceremonic V-mic Pro. So, because my base plate or culture broke, I have to use this monitor adapter that comes from Bill Trucks, and I'm just gonna use it to screw on like this. And this slides into the culture of the camera, just like this. Run the cable all the way around here, and run it in, of course, to our mic input. Okay guys, we're getting even closer to finishing this. So the first cable that we're gonna put in is our Type-C for our F5 Pro monitor. And bam, the monitor is on, up and running. Second and last cable is our USB 2 micro USB. But for now, this is the only cable I have. That is the perfect length, and there we go. Now we have power to our motor also. And this is already calibrated, so this is just good to go. And as we can see, our monitor is on, our follow focus is on, our camera is on, everything is up and running. The microphone also. And boom, guys, we have a full-on rig. Everything is on place, 
only the microphone shakes and that is to prevent it from giving some strange vibrating sounds. So yeah, this is the rig and it's awesome. Guys, you might say or ask, why do we need a rig? Does it serve purpose? Of course it does. A rig basically is all in one. Where are we gonna put otherwise all of these accessories on just one camera body? You might say, well, you don't need so much accessories. We do, we need a monitor, we need sound, we need a follow focus, we need a map box, and we need a handle, and we need power, and, we... and of course that's why we build rigs, so we could basically simplify our work so we can have it all in one, basically. There are some cons. Um, it weighs a lot, and it's big and it costs shit loads of money to build but in the end when you have acquired everything through many years of buying parts and pieces you will end up with a rig just imagine me arriving to set with that just a regular camera with a big ass lens or if i show up with this i'm gonna start be like yeah mm -hmm. Uh, you there, uh, please smile a bit more. Yeah. No, but seriously, this is gonna be a fantastic investment to do. And again, don't worry, this is not gonna be come to you in day one or two. It's gonna take you a couple of days, months, maybe years, like for me, to acquire. But of course, if you own the wallet of like Elon Musk or Bill Gates, you can get this in, uh, let's see, what two seconds probably yeah but yeah guys i hope you stay safe i hope you will have a fantastic 2021 and let's go out and shoot